hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to use the spectral frequency display to remove unwanted background noise okay i have made this recording and purposefully put a background noise that is a phone ringing in the background and how if this sort of thing happened during your you know recording which most of fun these days weapon because everybody has cell phone in their pockets and stuff like that so you do not need to start recording from the start you can easily remove it uh, first of all let's listen to our uh, recording uh, to determine what's the background noise in here actually let's put our player in here okay so you can see that from this point to this point uh, our phone ringing occurs actually there is a little buzzier but the phone ringing also occurs at this point too we can fix one of these they are both uh, fixed by the same way now we cannot fix this in here because uh, in the waveform uh, by the way this is a mono recording it's just a one form it's not stereo uh, is that it just displays its time limit or the time or duration in which this sound happened it does not give us any detail about at which frequency that background noise occurred to see that we have to go to spectral uh, frequency display in which we can easily identify it and eliminate it in here if you needed to eliminate that noise we have to remove the entire uh, audio of that section and that will remove the word or the frequencies or if it's spoken words or if it's music or vfx they will be removed also but in frequency display area you can only work on the uh, area of the ringtone or the background noise as you can see clearly this area is the frequency of the ringtone i can tell you this because why because the uh, sound of uh, machines are very monotonous you know they uh, ring or they i have one uh, frequency and with the linear frequency now on the other end the sound or the uh, dialogues or spoken word of a person uh, have a very variable frequency you know because our pitch and our sound and waves that are coming out of our mouth and their volume and amplitude go up and down like this so it's not fixed so that is to our advantage that uh, frequencies of machines and background noises are like this so they can be easily removed if once they are identified even if they do not have this sort of uh, a linear frequency they there are still methods how to remove it but now we have to work with this one for these we can use this four you know selection tools the brush tool the lasso tool you know and the quick selection tool like this but this one we, of course we cannot use because it starts to select from top to bottom and the marquee tool i think is the best one here because it makes this sort of bound or square selection the most easiest which is our requirement in here okay let me select that section okay let's make a selection first of all i'm just going to remove this one frequency on top of it and I'm gonna hit the delete key on the keyboard then i'm gonna make a big square down here and try to remove this entire place also okay if we have missed any frequency of the ringtone we can of course come back and make you know a selection later on and remove that also but at the moment this is the ringtone for the frequency in this place there is background noise of course the audio is uh, having more background noise also it's not totally clear there is some static voice in there but the ringtone is removed and let's play our audio file to see what happened to the track and in game I'm gonna bring it here okay. 
As you can see, the ringtone is totally being removed. Of course, there are other, you know, background noise and static noise in our audio file. It is still not a clear audio. Uh, but in the upcoming tutorials, I will teach you how to clear this rest of the static voice also, along with the, this portion of the uh, ringtone. And for in those tutorials, we will be using a little bit different techniques and some effects on the effect menu rather than selecting and deleting the portion of frequencies. So until next tutorial, I'll take my leave and hope you keep on learning Adobe Audition and getting success in it. Until next time, good night.